Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, gosh, what the heck was going on last time? Hunter? Hunter? Hunter, where the heck are we? What is this? Uh, nice shooting text? Oh, that's a dark one. Get your filthy hands off of him, you damn dirty muty. Ew, now he's fondling me! Get away from me, you! What the heck are you? Lanky. Wait, hey, I don't turn your back on me when I'm talking to you! Yeah, that's right, Hunter. You show that freaky, lanky moron. Uh... Now what? Uh, what? Oh shit, that was just a dream! That's right, we were in a scary abandoned tunnel! And we still are in a scary abandoned tunnel! Oh no, 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 no. Come on, someone! Guys, anyone alive? Uh, we all decided to have a little nap, but uh, I think... I think that would be a very good time to crack that. Oh no, those aren't the... Uh, those are those Nosalis thingies. Hey! Oh, I need to be more careful with the shots. That wasn't good. Oh. Off of him! You okay, Chief? Yo! No! Ah! You... Sick! Big nosed goober! Knife knowing you! Yeah, now we're talking. So, yes. You can empty one barrel by firing with one and. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, whoops. The mutie got him. Hey! Ticket, please! Just keep cranking, man! Or. None of us are getting out of here alive! What do you think I'm doing? Hey! Reservation only! Ah! Get off! Oh, I better load while I have a break. There's no point. You think you're fast? Yeah, 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 yeah! Just keep hitting that thing! Come on! Yeah, yeah, you, you, yes, just you, doing good, man, doing good. Hey, you're blocking me. I know, just blocking me. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 well, I'm hanging on. I'm, I'm not hanging on. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna hide in this cubby hole. Um, oh, jeez. I think I'm good for now. Um, I think I'm not good for much longer. Wait for me, guys! Wait, no! Stop shooting! I'm not a beauty! Stop it! Stop it, you... You guys, stop freaking shooting! I, um... Yeah! Burn you, fuckers! That's more like it. Ой, ой, ой. Горячая ночка, а? Пропустить по стаканчику не помешает, я думаю. Yeah, nice to see you doing well too, chief. Holy cow, I need a drink. Ugh. На Киевская была только первой остановкой, но дальше должен был идти один. Перед тем как расстаться, мы выпили за то, что остались в живых. Говорят, водка делает храбрее. Но мне было все так же страшно. Зато я нашел нового попутчика. Поначалу он мне очень не понравился. You know, what do you guys think about you, the viewers? What do you think about silent protagonists? Because this is a weird one, because we have Artyom's recollections between the chapters. But Artyom still is a silent protagonist in the game itself. It's kind of really odd. I, I don't, honestly, I... 
the point of a silent protagonist is for you to put easier put yourself in the character's shoes, but I've never been able to do that in any case, so I just value more actually having a character, really, to be perfectly honest. Ладно, мужики, давайте выпьем за нашего Артема, которому ни чудища, ни аномалии не почем. За Артема! За кого нам пить-то? Yes, 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 давай, давай. Thank you, thank you. You are too kind, my boss and buddy. Черт, если бы не ты, пацан, от нас бы мокрого пятна не осталось. Тебе пару медаль дать. Медали нет, но есть патроны. Держи. I can't object to that. You will be surprised how much I'll need that. Oh, another one? Of course, of course. Uh, привет, my friend. Yes. Блин. <laughs> Ты чё, правда непробиваемый для аномалий? Посмотрим, непробиваемый ли он для водяры. А? О, я, 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 well, my friend, uh, it's been swell, but I may need it elsewhere. Those be done, your friends. Military grade bullets, that's good. Wait a second, I I'm sorry. I'm Dude, is that your twin brother over there? Because you look. Nah, uh, it looks good, I guess. Ooh, piano! Can I play this, guys? Can I? Hey, listen to this one. Um, no flash? I thought I could have flash of insight from this. Oh well. Oh, oh gosh, there's... <laughs> there's people on the second floor. Whoops, uh, the first floor, I'm sorry. Huh. Let's freak it out there for a second. Yeah, hit me up with something, Jack. Give me your best, Jack. No? Okay, fine. I guess. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bad, pretty bad. So. You know, um, could I maybe have this thing instead of just the bullets? I could really use this thing. Semi auto shotgun. No? Okay. Well. Oh well. So here we are in Riga Station, a very big place compared to that last place of ours, our own home exhibition. Here we have a store of course of supplies. So, my recommendation for stuff to buy is right here. Gas masks, that's what I recommend you buying, uh, gas mask filters. Spending money on that is my recommendation, because here's the thing. Um, what you don't realize when you start this game is, um, you can only buy gas masks in, I think, two stores way early in the game, and after that you need to find all your gas masks in the field. Uh, the gas mask filters, I'm sorry. And there are some segments near the end of the game which are... Oh, really long on the surface, and you will really need those gas mask filters, so... And I had real trouble in my first game playthrough um, surviving there, because um, I just didn't have enough filters, so my recommendation is to spend the money right here and buy that crap up. Pronto, yes, all of it, it's it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll survive with the rest of the stuff. Oops, that's the wrong button. Um, yeah, and we could... Do I have... Let's see... So here we have shotgun shells, uh, pistol bullets or revolver bullets, and, uh, combat, uh, assault rifle and SMG ammo. No, I'm gonna want to keep all of these just in case. I'm not gonna be doing any trading now. And the thing is, you kind of find new guns in the field, so it's really not worth buying any new guns. I don't think so, honestly. Someone might disagree, of course. Maybe it's worth it. I don't find it to be. Let's see, where did we? We came from upstairs over there. Uh, nothing over here. Let's just go this way if this little urchin will us go by. Oh, hey there, kid. Yeah, that's me. Uh, well, uh, don't really like the sound of a big scary man in black clothes asking for me, but uh, I haven't got really any other lead in this place, so sure, kid. See, we got a little uh, flash of insight there, because we did a nice deed. We, nice, nice deed. We gave a kid uh, a little... 
Uh, here, kid, let me light the way for you. So, like, um, you would never gotten the flash of insight if you'd refused. And honestly, it might be better to refuse because it's, it's, it's quite easy to find your way here in Riga, even. Well, this squalor these people live in is kind of sad. However, if you do follow the kid, you'll miss a few extras, which we'll find over there. Here we have the crapper, apparently. Lovely, lovely. I'm not even kidding, there's a chapter in the book where Artyom stuck cleaning crappers for, you know, I think, like a month or something. Yeah. You'll be surprised to know that part is not in this game, what do you know? In general, Artyom is a lot less uh, violent, lot much less action in the book than here in the video game. Ah, here we go, you could have missed this if we didn't go. We got a military-grade bullet. I know, I know, I'm kind of stealing from people since they're laying around here and I'm just grabbing them from people's places, but, uh... Hey, oh, here's some more. And I think these ones... Did these ones... Was there... Yes, there's one more, yes. Here we go. Three military-grade bullets that we just looted. Sure, we could use them. Um, the... Damn it, kid! Relax already! So the thing is, like, uh, yeah, I mean... I'm gonna need those a bit more, I think, than whatever whoever left these lying around. It is a bit irresponsible to leave them lying around like that. Well, he doesn't look too terrible, and he looks like he tr gets around. So. Uh, all right, scary man in black. I'll have take a seat. Меня тут все бурбоном зовут, и ты можешь звать. Слушай, пацанчик. У меня дельца есть на Сухаревской, а эта гребаная станция закрыта. Но меня так просто не закрыть, много кто пытался. Короче, тут есть один проход, местные боятся его использовать, называют проклятым. Но я слышал, что вся эта муть в туннелях на тебя не действует, да? Ну значит тебе и проклятый ход ни по чем. Короче, помоги мне добраться до Сухаревской, а я тебе калаш за это. Договорились? Ну и ладушки. А это тебе аванс. На дорожку отоварится. Ну чё, готов? Well, sure, man I just met. I'll let you lead me into the spooky tunnels. What else do you do I have? Да в этом навозе. В шее кормить можно и в более гламурных местах. He did give us bullets as a show of goodwill, so I guess I can trust him. Although if he just kills me in the tunnels, he can just take these bullets back. But what do you know? His bourbon is also in the book, and his role is quite larger here in the game. This is a bit of a different character. It's rather interesting contrasting difference. And that's and that's one of the moments where I think having a silent protagonist is silly that we don't get like Artyom doing something to say like, okay sure Bourbon, I'll hook up with you. And it's just like, you're gonna come with me? Okay, good. Come on kid. Do, do you do that singing stuff all the time in these abandoned tunnels? How have you survived this long? Uh -huh. you know, this really looks like a place where you'd hide military-grade bullets to loot. I don't see anything. Oh! Aha! Ah! Uh, uh, huh. Huh. Never mind then. So I guess we're just gonna be sneaking around these spooky tunnels. But does Riga Station really have just this place completely unguarded? At this, not great, guys. How has Riga Station survived this long? Самая лесная характеристика, которую можно было дать Бурбону, подозрительный тип. Идти с ним вместе в заброшенный туннель глупо, говорил я себе. Но что мне оставалось? Другого пути с Рижской не было. Okay. Отлично, вырвались. Ну теперь гляди в оба, пацанчик. Это тебе не на дрезине кататься. В этом туннеле куча серьезных мужиков полегла. Но если будем друг друга прикрывать, все путем будет. Okay, so honestly, I don't like this about the game. Is here in the early game you have a lot of NPCs you're hanging out with. Это просто кикимор. Они на отряды не нападают никогда. There's two problems with it. One is that he's constantly running in the forwards, and you kind of don't really feel like you have a chance to look around and explore stuff, because freaking he keeps running in and triggering all this interesting stuff, so you want to just rush around following him. 
Like, honestly, he does stop constantly to let you stop and loot, but it feels like you should be hurrying all the time. Like, I'm, you know, this guy's not gonna need his stuff, so I'm just gonna grab all the bullets off of him. And I already have this gun, so there's no point trading that in. We have a... Hold on, let me just load my gun up, just in case. Let's go, it carries 30 bullets at a time. So we have a knife, a revolver, a submachine gun, and we get to have this the, uh, the shotgun. We have four gun slots. I believe the fifth slot will be for explosives, which I think we might find over here. Somewhere here. That's just spooky yeah, cute crazy guy. Yeah, so the yeah, so the one problem is we feel like I'm constantly being egged on, like, you know, now it's like follow Bourbon for you crazy man, and we missed this entire side area here. The other problem is it just kinda kills a bit of the mood of being alone in these spooky tunnels by hanging out with a guy. I don't know, I guess it's because it's you know, to ease you into the scary lifestyle, but you have to play very far into the game before you're really left alone. I could have enjoyed being spooked earlier. Well, this is spooky. That's, uh... That's a grenade! Nice! Now we got a grenade. That's not... a, uh... human or a little rat over there. Ah! Sure what that was, but I'm glad I blew it away. <gasps> Ew! Ew, they're baby versions of the things on the surface. Ew. Oh god! Oh, these guys are pretty awful. Um ooh, ooh, nearly fell in their tunnel. Um, these guys are pretty awful, but we're gonna be running into them more later in the game. This is just a bit of preview of a very obnoxious enemy. Now we're just gonna run, I'm gonna run away from here before any more of them show up. Um, very obnoxious enemy in a very obnoxious part of the game. Or, well, kind of depends how you feel. Eh. But yeah, that was just a bit of a preview of... I believe they're called Lurkers, those tiny baby rat goblin monsters. In any case. Good riddance to them, I says. Freaky things. Ugh, lots of freaky stuff. Apocalypse didn't do good for the world. I know that's a bit of an obvious statement, but... I think I saw this boy. Oh dear, did he die fighting, or did he just decide to end it all himself? Ah, oh, that's tragic. We won't find out, because he is dead. 